Hi, welcome to CodePro channel. In this video, I will show you four different ways to create React projects. First of all, if you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe my channel. Let's dive into the video. I will divide this into step by step. The first thing you need to do is installing Node.js. Just type Node.js in the Google. It will redirect to the official website. Here you can see this is the 14.16.0 is the latest table version. LTS means latest table version and 15 is the current version. So LTS is preferred version. So recommended for most of the user. Just you can download this one. So if you click on this, it will download. And after downloading that, just you need to click next, next, next. It will install Node.js into your system. Now Node.js was installed in our system. So let's close this and now how I can check Node.js is installed in my system or not. Just open the terminal. It's a Mac. In Windows you can open the command prompt and just type Node-B. It will tell you that what the version of Node.js you have installed in your system. So let me zoom it. So here you can see 14.16.0 so here I have installed 14.16.0 so it was installed in my system and also with the node by default npm will also install in your system just check npm version also so node version and npm version is completely different so npm has different version for every release with the node.js as npm same like that npx also will install in your system just npx -B. so npx and npm will be in the same version npm is the node package manager and npx will be the node package runner okay these two packages also will be installed in your system when you are installing the node.js so once you install the node.js the first step to create react project is by using npx so whenever you want to create a project first thing where you want to create a project that means in which folder you want to create for example i am creating it in my desktop folder so let me go into that folder desktop here i want to create a react project before creating react app one tip for you if you have already installed create react app in your local system that means first thing you need to check that is if you have already installed create react app globally via npm install ipng create react app in your local system please uninstall that by using npm uninstall ipng create react app or else if you are using ARN as a package manager just remove as a global dependency then npx always uses the latest version of react so for that please uninstall the create react app globally the first way to create a react project is by using npx npx space create iphone react iphone app space what is the project name you want to give so i am giving react iphone project iphone one so just i am giving this name and pressing enter take some time to download all the dependent dependencies it is required let's wait for a minute now it has installed all the packages it is required see here success created project at this folder inside the directory you can run several commands so to start the project you need to execute this command before that you need to navigate to that folder cd space whatever the project name you have given react icon project one so i have navigated into it now what you need to execute is npm start so just npm now it will open now it will open the react project in browser with localhost 3000 port number so now you can see this is the project i have created so how can I see that code right? So just go, if you have Visual Studio in your system, just open the Visual Studio and open file, open, and you can select where your project will be. So I have created in uh, desktop, right? I'm selecting here, React Project 1. I'm opening it here. This is the project structure. If you use NPX to create a React project. So, and also you have a question why I need to give npm start command right so here you can see in the package.json here the start will be there right so because of that you are giving npm start as that if you change this command you need to use npm whatever the name you have given so that's why it is working like that this is the first way of creating react app by using npx 
So what is the second way to create React app? So to stop that server, right? Control C. It has to stop the server. Now I'm navigating again to desktop. I'm navigating again to desktop folder. Again, now I want to create another project with second way. So what is the second way is by using npm. Now I have used npx, right? Now I am going to use npm. So npm says init. Init is initializer. Okay. After that, React Python app. What I am going to create React app, right? So now you have to give the project name. So I am giving React project. Now I am creating the project tag in here. This might will take some time. Please wait a couple of minutes to download all the packages. Now it has downloaded all the dependencies is required. Let's it is saying same, right? Created a project at this folder. Just navigate to that folder and npm start. CD space react hyphen project to here npm start. So it will start the server in localhost 3000. It will open in the browser. This is the second way of creating the React project. The third way to create a React project is by using an manager package manager that was developed by Facebook. NPM and NPX are developed by Google. So those two packages by defaultly will come for you when you install the Node.js. And will not be defaultly in the system. You need to install it by using NPM install iphone g so iphone g flag will install as globally so app so it will be command for windows so for mac you need to use sudo before that now it will download app in your local system with this version with the app 1.22.10 version now so to create a react project it's in the desktop folder just add create React iPhone app. What is the project name you want to give? React iPhone project. When compared to NPM, and will give better performance when using with the React JS. Let's wait a couple of minutes to download all the packages it will require. Now it has created a project in the desktop folder with the name of React Project 3. Now you can see inside the directory you need to execute this app start. Even you can you can start the project by using npm also by using the same command npm start and also you can use add start. So let me navigate to the directory. Here you can use add start or npm start both will work. Now it will open the project in Chrome browser with the default browser. The only difference between this approach and the first two approaches is when you create the project with npm, it will create package.log.json in your project. But if you create project by using ARM, it will create it will create ARM.log file in your folder. Just open that here. You can see package.log.json. If you open it, React Project 3 here, it will create and dot log .json file here. So and dot log file it will create. So if you create the project with and so everything is same, but and will give better performance in some cases when compared to npm. So by this way, we can create the project by using and. The fourth and final way to create a React project is by using Gatsby. So Gatsby. To know about the Gatsby, just type it in the Google Gatsby React. So Gatsby is a tool for creating static websites with React. Gatsby is a React based open source framework with performance, scalability and security built in. So I am following this documentation to create a project with Gatsby. As a beginner, I won't recommend it to go for this approach. As experienced people, it's really useful to create a static websites in the React project. Here, to create a React project, first you need to install the Gatsby CLI. So Gatsby CLI is nothing but Gatsby command line interface. So if you download this, you can use the Gatsby command in the command prompt. For that, I am using Gatsby CLI. To download that, I am giving sudo before that in the Mac. 
now it will install the gatsby cli in our local system now the gatsby cli was installed with this version 2.19.2 now to check that the gatsby is installed in our system or not just check gatsby hyphen b it will tell you that what is the version it has been installed this version is 2.19.2 now to create a project just use gatsby space new new is the command to create a new project new project and what is the project name you want to give for so react hyphen project hyphen now it will create a project with by downloading the required dependencies let's wait for a minute to download all the dependencies it uses and to download all the packages it is required because once you install the app, it will use ARN as a default package manager. Now it created a React project with the name of React Project 4. And to run that project, they are telling that just go to this directory and run these commands. Not npm start or not ARN start. You need to use Gatsby develop to run this project. So here I am navigating to that directory. It is this. Now Gatsby develop. It will it will run the project with the local host with port number 8000. The Gatsby project structure is a little bit different when compared to the the first three approaches. To see that right, I'm just opening that. So this is a Gatsby project structure. Now the project is not opened by default in the browser, so you need to open it by copying this. I'm just running this. Yeah, this is the basic project structure of Gatsby. So this is the template they are giving. So for React, normal React application, they are giving like this, right? But by using Gatsby, they are giving like this. By this way, you can create the project by using Gatsby. But I won't recommend for as a beginner. It will be really useful if you want to create static websites like blog. For example, if you want to create your own blog for you, it will be really useful. But uh, as a beginner, you can use any of the first three approaches to be better. Thank you for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe.